Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In today's video, we'll be discussing example 9.3 and 9.4 from Laplace transform uh, of the book from the book Signals and Systems by Mr. Oppenheim. Now, we, previously, we have done uh, uh, discussed example 9.1 and 9.2. And I have uh, tried to make it uh, as detailed as possible so that the students can understand. But now well, I'll tell you some shortcut methods, especially for finding of ROC or region of convergence. So let's say this was the signal, this is from 9.1. And the UT means the signal is right-sided. That means this is UT from zero to the right. So a right-sided signal means that the ROC or the region of convergence will be on the right side of the rightmost pole. Now, let's see what does this mean. We had also seen that the Laplace transform of this function will be 1 over s plus a. And if you put s plus a is equal to 0, then we get s is equal to minus a. Now this point will be called pole. When the denominator is becomes 0, that is a point of pole. What we'll do, we'll take this uh, imaginary and real axis for s plane. And then we'll put a dotted line. This is showing the pole at minus 1. Now the region of convergence could be either on the left side of the pole, this pole, or on the right side of the pole. Now since in our case, the signal is right-sided, the ROC will be on the right side of the rightmost pole. So this is the only pole we have. So. ROC will be towards the right hand side of this pole. So this is ROC or regional convergence. And what we we are interested actually in this real part of S, which is sigma. We know that S is sigma plus j omega. The so real part of S is sigma. And therefore, the region of convergence will write it as RES, or the real part of S, will be greater than minus 1. Greater than minus 1 means it is on this side. And so the final answer will write it that the transform of EAT UT is this value and the region of convergence RES greater than minus 1. Another example, we had done 9.2, where we had u minus t. And u minus t means from 0, it is going toward the left. And that means it is left-sided signal. And so the ROC will be the left side. This value remains same, whether it is on the uh, u minus t or what. We had, done, we had done this. If you have doubt, you can see example 9.2. And from here also we get the pole at s is equal to minus 1. So this is the pole. And now it will be left-sided. ROC will be on the left of minus a. So it will be like this. So this is the region in convergence. The signal will converge in this region. And again, same logic that we write sigma as the real part of S and it will be less than negative A. So this is negative A and less than negative A is on the left hand side. And the final answer will be 1 over S and with that we write uh, the region, uh, region of convergence. With this background, now let's see, uh, let's solve the uh, next example, example 9.3. This example, we consider a signal that is sum of two real exponentials. So two real exponentials, this and this.
And if you recall, the formula for Laplace transform is integral of xt. Now this is our x. With that, we add e raised to the power minus st. We multiply by e raised to the power minus st. So in this case, we can write that the transform is integral, same integral, negative to uh, positive infinity. Then this signal, and with that, we write e raised to the power minus st dt. We can separate these two parts. And then ut, we know, is for the right hand side. Therefore, this negative will now become 0 from 0 to infinity. Similarly, here from 0 to infinity, then we can just add these two or the multiplication. The powers are added. So s plus 2, and in this case, will be s plus 1. And using this formula that we have done earlier also, that if it is e raised to the power minus s a t, then at the final form or the final answer will be 1 over s a. So based on that, first part will be 3 and 1 over s plus 2. Negative, second part will be this 2 and divided by s plus 1. So th this is the uh, final answer, but we need to have the uh, ROC as well. So let's proceed. So we were here. So this signal UT is right hand sided, therefore, and we said that if it is right hand sided, then the real part of this will be greater than zero. That means the real part of S will be greater than from here, negative two. This is ROC. Similarly, for the second part, that is this part, is also right-sided because there is an ut, and therefore real s plus 1 will be greater than 0, and real s will be greater than minus 1. So these two are the regions of convergence. This is for the first part, and this is for the second part. Okay. Now, simply without 3, this one, we know it's a, a Laplace transform will be 1 over s plus 1 from here. And we have also found that for this, the uh, ROC will be greater than minus 1. So we have written this. And similarly, the second part, or actually the first part in this case, will be 1 over s plus 2 and the region and convergence is greater than minus 2. Okay, now let's plot the first part. The RES will be greater than minus 1. So this is our line. Let's say this is our point minus 1 where we have drawn the pole part and RES will be towards the right hand side of this minus 1. And similarly, for the second part, it will be greater than minus 2. So at minus 2, we have now drawn the pole line. And on right hand side, shaded, this is the ROC. Now, the, the problem is the sum of the two, one has uh, ROC greater than minus 1, and the other is greater than minus 2. Which one will consider? Uh, this was the answer we had already got the magnitude part what we can do is we can solve this or simplify as shown here so this is the answer but roc we don't know so now that question that one has roc from minus one and the other is roc from minus two so what will be the total roc or overall roc now for that case, there's a simple way that we know from the set theory that this common to both is known as the intersection, so A intersection B. Similarly, here we have to take common from the both or the intersection. So you can see minus 1 is in both of these two. Therefore, our ROC will be minus 1. So RES will be greater than minus 1.
Now we come to part of our example 9.4. This is slightly different from the previous one that we have now cosine 3t. So we'll use the uh, Euler's theorem to uh, write for cosine ej theta plus ej e minus j theta over 2. So this one will be the left side remains same, but for cosine 3t, we'll write e3jt and e minus 3jt divided by 2. Further, we break down this part. And further simplifying, adding these two actually, it will be 1 minus 3jt and in this case it will be minus 1 plus 3jt. And now this was in time domain, we will take the transform, Laplace transform. And so this formula we'll use now from here, this along with minus st, this along with minus st and the third one. Okay, so we were here. Now we'll eliminate ut. The ut can be eliminated by removing this negative uh, infinity and starting from zero. So now we can multiply these two or add the powers. So s plus 2, here s plus 1 minus 3j and here s plus 1 plus 3j. Now let's give them number 1, 2, 3 so we can individually solve these. Again this formula we'll be using. In the first case our value will be 1 over s plus 2. We still need to find ROC. How much is ROC? Same technique that for this putting this equal to 0, we get s is equal to minus 2. So at minus 2, we draw the pole line. And since this was ut, that means right handed, therefore we cover this area with line. So this is the ROC that is real part of s greater than minus 2. First part done. So we were up to this point. Now we'll take care of part 2, this one. Again, same formula we'll be using 1 over s plus a. So we had s plus 1 minus 3j at the bottom. Again, here the question of ROC. Now, to find ROC, we have to put this greater than zero because it is right handed and therefore it has to be greater than zero. We have already done in the previous example. And S can be greater than moving this to the right hand side, negative 1 minus. Uh, 3j. Now one very important point, we always from s we write real part of s because we know that s is sigma plus j omega. That means s is complex. So we take the real part. Now in this case, this is also complex. 1 minus 3j is complex. So here also we'll take the real part. The real part of 1 minus uh, 3j will be 1. And so we can write that real S is greater than negative 1. And so we'll draw a line at negative 1. And right hand side of this will be the ROC for part 2. And so the final answer we can write it as this value and ROC real S is greater than minus 1. Now we go to the third part. This already we have done. So third part is this part here from here. 1 over s plus 1 plus 3j. Here also same question, ROC. 
again we'll equate this to greater than zero because of this also has ut so it will be right hand sided and from here same technique real part of s and real part of the right hand side will be one so minus one so real part of s is greater than minus one so here also we'll draw this line minus one and right hand side will be the roc so now we have these three rocs for the whole question let's move on to the next part okay so the uh, transform of this is now this value and the roc is greater than minus one So finally, we had found these three ROCs, these three plots, and this was the original signal. So the Laplace transform of XT, from here we write 1 over S plus 2, from here we write the, the signal, and because there is a half, so we'll write half. Earlier we had only solved for this, from here you can see. And similarly, the third part is also having half, so we'll write half this. And now coming on to the ROC, we have seen the intersection. Uh, we have discussed this, that the intersection of the two or three will be our ROC. So it is starting from minus one, minus one, but this is from minus two. So the intersection will be minus one, and therefore, the overall uh, ROC will be a real S greater than minus one. So this is uh, the answer, but we to make it more neat, more presentable, we'll solve this part. So we just take the these two half out and we rearrange s plus 1 and minus 3j and then we take the LCM so we were here for the simplifying I hope you can follow this from here for the simplifying and further again further I hope you can follow this. Uh, you can put the uh, pause the video and then follow step by step. So the final answer or the magnitude is this part. So we can say that the this was the time domain signal. This Laplace transform is from here. This is the value, and uh, we had the. Uh, uh, a region of convergence we already found that for all three it will be greater than minus one so this is the final answer so i hope you have been able to follow this please give me your feedback share it with your friends thank you